Hey YouTubers and RV fans, this is an update from the Paddy Wagon. I live on a very busy street here. Um, there's a, uh, this is the main thoroughfare for RVs coming in and out of the park. And as you can see, it's a uh, pretty full park. Okay, so I apologize for taking so long to do an update video. It's been pretty crazy two weeks. Um, and this is really the first opportunity I've had to do an update video, so I extend my apologies to my subscribers and know that I will be more timely with my videos. Let me just take you back to the point when I left the house, which is probably where most of you have left off aside from the um, update on my internet connection. Um, the trip itself was a good trip. Um, actually, Merck did very well. She, she ran beautiful. No issues. No issues with the engine. No issues with the transmission, no issues with tires, no issues with anything. So 620 miles. Um, it was a little bit stressful for me because I think as a new RVer, I was waiting for something to happen and it didn't. You know, as Pop said when I first left, he's like, this is uh, off to a great future. He's like, you know, you did your work with Mert and you did the repairs. And so she did really, really good. People are here. Some of them are long-term, good majority of them are short-term. Here's a little resident kitty. Let's see if you can see the kitty. Yeah. <laughs> this is my path out to the walking park. And if we're lucky, I might be able to catch some of that sunset. There it is. There it is, look. Oh. That is the sun setting over lower Alabama. How magnificent is that? It's beautiful. Beautiful. I'll stand still here for a minute so you can get the full depth of it. I hope it comes out on video as beautiful as it is here in person. I think what I discovered as a result of um, my initial trip was that I was not going to be one of those RVers that traveled every day. And there's a number of reasons why. Um, the first and probably the most important reason is my work. Work is remote and as a result I have specific deadlines I have to meet and um, that doesn't work well with a daily travel schedule. And so what I need to do is determine a balance as to when I can travel. Because when I do travel, I, I wanna be able to get to some new destination and be able to have the time to set up and to go to work. I can't imagine working after traveling a good part of the day, but that's probably because I was traveling too many miles. I think if I travel less miles, and maybe just change up the scenery every so often, uh, I'm probably gonna be in better shape, but it's still not gonna happen every day. More than likely, I'll be on the road probably every 30 to 40 days or thereabouts, maybe every two months. Wow, this is hey, a cool store. What these. you got? Well, isn't that what they use to shower the guys in the van? Oh yeah. At Fred's Sprayers. My goal when I began traveling was really to be able to see places that I would have never seen in my sticks and bricks and enjoy the landscape and enjoy the area so and explore the area quite a bit so that's what my intention is and that's what I want to do and if that takes me a month great if it takes me two months that's great too and I ultimately made the decision to stay and fortunately that's been a great decision um, a lot of that's been a great decision because of RV Debs um, she's helped me out a great deal in terms of um, giving me transportation <laughs> To the grocery store and um, out and about you know getting me out of the rig once in a while which is kind of nice um, because I do spend a lot of time in the rig behind the computer so it's nice to be able to get out and socialize 
So I have a few clips that I'll be dispersing in and out of this uh, video of uh, our time out. So here's RV Debs. RV Debs, are you living the dream? We are. We are living the dream. We are living the dream. Freedom. <laughs> Making the decision to stay here for a period of time was actually kind of a relief because that first night when I actually hooked up and I was just chilling out, I realized I'm not in transition anymore. I'm not waiting to get on the road anymore. I'm not preparing. I'm not downsizing. I'm not doing any of those things. I'm actually doing it. And so that was a big deal for me. And it actually was very comforting to know that I actually did it. Um, there's so many channels that I've watched where people prepare and prepare and prepare and they don't ever leave. Um, so I was very excited that I was one of those people who actually prepared and then actually left. Um, and I know there's a number of people out there that are endeavoring to do the same and I wish you all the best and I know you'll do it. Um, coffee break. Does that smell good? Mm hmm Oh, I like that one. Yeah, it's a coffee break. Yeah. Here you go, a zen moment. Is it lavender? I don't know, we'll see. Gosh. It's a zen moment. Um, at the RV park, they had a dinner social where a group of RVers go out and they have dinner together. And in this particular case, this past Wednesday, there was 24 of us that went to a restaurant. And I got to meet a number of um, folks that live here at this RV park. And they're really quite wonderful people. And unfortunately, I didn't get to meet all of them. But hopefully the next time they go out and I go with them, I will meet them. The last thing that I want to talk about tonight is um, knowing your rig. You know, it's funny, um, go back to my videos and you'll see where I lived in my driveway for mm, probably almost two months um, before I left. And I got to tell you, um, looking at it today, that two month period of time really helped me to become familiar with the rig and understand that this was my home. And so um, if you haven't done that yet and you're seriously considering going on the road, I would really recommend that you live in your rig in your driveway for a month or two. I know there's been a several YouTubers that have suggested that and that, that was one of the things that um, Pops and I had talked about me doing and one of the reasons why I put the 30 amp RV plug in um, at, my, at my house. So living in your rig gets you familiar with it. So when you are on the road and you're traveling in unfamiliar areas and you come into an unfamiliar RV park, the comfort that you have in knowing that your rig is your home and you feel comfortable in it and adjusted in it makes all the difference in the world. There is a period of adjustment when you leave and you get on the road. And as long as you understand that uh, and you can weather through it in a, in a rig that's familiar and is your home, then that makes a big difference. Thanks, Freds. We had a good time. We did. Allegri Farm Market. It's a very nice market. So we're out and about here in Lower Alabama. Um, I've been out with RB Debs and she's taken me to other places. And then we've got this huge, beautiful, beautiful vehicle here. I'm not sure what it's called. It's called a slingshot. Okay, so RV Debs and I are headed out. She has been so nice to give me rides everywhere. I love having you with me. As always, thank you for watching. It's great that the channel has grown so much. And to my new subscribers, welcome. I'm thrilled to have you. To my original subscribers, thank you so much for sticking with me uh, on the trip. Uh, and for those of you that are lurking and just watching the videos, make sure you click that su subscribe button. Uh, thumbs up and like the video if you do. Share it, please and subscribe. Take care.